Chinese car manufacturer Dong Feng says it has a bunch of new EVs coming out. It's going to be mass producing them with a new solid state battery, but it's not a lithium battery. It's made using a new technology, sodium. This is the world's first sodium solid state battery. It's going to be very, very affordable, last potentially almost forever. And you can buy one pretty soon. That is, if you live in China. This incredible new discovery is about to make gasoline and diesel powered vehicles completely and utterly obsolete. If these researchers' claims are true, it is 100% game over for every Porsche internal combustion engine car, every Ferrari, all of them will simply be seen as being ancient dinosaur vehicles. For a long time, we've known there's a simple and easy way to massively improve by up to 10 times the energy density of today's current batteries. I've talked about that on the channel a number of times. However, whilst it sounds easy, it hasn't been able to be actually become a reality yet. And there's a good reason for this. The reason is that anode technology using these materials is still problematic. Long-term use is poor. In other words, battery degradation has been a huge problem. Well, now researchers from two universities and a research team in South Korea have joined together. They say they've solved this. They say that their battery technology will enable lithium batteries with 10 times or even more energy density than today's battery packs. Well, it turns out you can already buy the Model 3 Highland. Yes, I know we haven't even seen it yet. It hasn't been revealed. We don't even know when it's coming, but we know when some customers will get the new version of the Tesla Model 3. Model 3 Highland, it's it's going to be night and day versus the old version. I think you'll find, I think you'll be very surprised at just how much better it will be than the old model. Within the past 24 hours, reports have emerged that the new Tesla Model 3 Highland, it will be significantly cheaper than the current version. Now, I can't say this is going to be true, but the claim is the price reduction is going to be uh, a lot more than what I ever would have thought. Now, I thought the new version of the Model 3 Highland would be more expensive. If this is in fact true, not only are we going to see a significant price reduction, but we're also going to see a much better vehicle with a much longer range. The combination of these two factors would mean it could be game over for Tesla's competition. How do you compete with that combination? Especially when you consider the other 21 upgrades and improvements to the new version of the Model 3. In addition, we've seen some new images of fleets of Model 3 Highlands driving and yes, there's still camouflage, but we can really get a good idea of what the cars look like because the camouflage is much more minimal than in previous images. Not just one, but a few people are now saying that they've been told the price of the Cybertruck. Apparently, this will be the price. It's, it's I have to say, not what I expected. Anyway. I'm curious to know what you think about it. Is it too expensive, too cheap? There's been some videos going around showing BYD cars burning to the ground. There is quite a few that this has happened with. And the videos from YouTubers who love to clickbait you with anything and usually have very little knowledge or understanding of the products they're talking about, show or claim to be showing BYD's electric cars setting themselves on fire. Well, it turns out, as I've said numerous times in several videos that I've made, it's not BYD's electric cars that are having problems. BYD's cars are certainly having some pretty major issues in China, as well, recent surveys have shown but it's got nothing to do with the batteries and everything to do with the other part of the car, the fuel system. The 
biggest battery company in the world, CATL. They are also Tesla's largest battery supplier. It appears that this new battery pack will be used in the Tesla Model Y in the first quarter of 2024. This is incredibly exciting news. This is probably the most exciting battery news of the last decade. Not only is it exciting, but it's extremely scary. It's very worrying if you're the competition. I would go so far as to say this is game over. Now, hopefully in the future, people come back and they look at this video and say, you're right, it was game over. Now, whether that was a good thing or a bad thing, I'd say it's probably more of a bad thing because this means that one company will continue to dominate the EV battery market, not only the EV battery market, but energy storage as well. But is this a good thing? I mean, this company already owns 40% of the global market. It's already verging on monopolizing the battery market. And now it has revealed this technology. 